What's the grand center right thought? You really got to understand that you got to let go of what people think of you. I know you as empaths are sensitive. That's why you're an empath, you see? You can't get mad because you're sensitive. You have to accept that about yourself and overcome your sensitivities. We have all these words that we use to explain that process. We call it numb, numbing down. Whatever words you want to call it, you have to learn how to overcome your sensitivities and stop caring about what people think of you, their ideals of you. You have to remember that Abba Yah created you and he has written a truth of your life. You see, the author and the finisher, he's already written who you are, designed you, and said who you were. Now, you go into the world giving all this credence to what people think of you, <laughs> what men and women think, and why? Why do you care what they think of you? If they think positive you of you or negative. The catch and the strange thing about this is <laughs> you care so much about what people think of you and Yahushua told you that they're going to hate you. <laughs> and you want everybody to like you. He says, beware when all men speak well of you. Woe unto you when all men speak well of you. So you have a great reputation in this world. That ain't good. And then it, this sounds strange to the world. They're like, what the hell? That's why it says it's, Christ is foolishness to the Gentile. It's a stumbling block to the Jew and foolishness to the Gentile. They cannot comprehend that. Do you see? Wait, having a great reputation. That's what I've been raised to always want to have. A great name status be one of the haves and not one of the have nots you see establish myself in this world as someone great do great accomplishments well then you didn't read the bible that says all is vanity nigga. <laughs> you didn't read the scripture that said all is vanity and this is being told to you by king solomon now when you read about king solomon the wisest king of Israel, man. The dude had all the riches you could imagine. He had a thousand wives, okay? This man had everything. He had so much gold that silver was of no value to him, the scripture says. Come on now. And he said it was all vanity. <laughs> Come on! You niggas is trying to get $100,000 in your account saved. You think you'll have accomplished something if you do that. Solomon had all the gold and silver was worth nothing to him. And he said, I wasted my time. It was vanity doing that. <laughs> and y'all niggas still chasing. He asked for wisdom. Abba Yah gave him wisdom and then he told you that with it. And you think you're going to have mo more wisdom than him. I'm going to know more than what Solomon knew. I'm going to be able to get more riches and then I'll be able to tell, no, it wasn't vanity. No, it wasn't. <laughs> All right, nigga, you try then. You try. Y'all just don't want to give it up, do ya? You don't want to take your lips off that titty called America, do you? <laughs> Y'all don't want to take your lips off that damn titty. Y'all the big ass baby still standing there with milk around his mouth and shit. Like that motherfucker on Game of Thrones. That lady had that big ass boy and shit. He was still sucking on her titty breastfeeding and shit. That's you niggas. Y'all won't let the titty go. <laughs> You're like, no, 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 no. We don't want to grow up. We want to just be little babies forever. <laughs> Time to grow up. Now watch. This is the anomaly. I know, I told you, this is strange the way that we speak. But listen up. If you got ears to hear, you'll hear it. It's strange because we don't want everybody hearing it, by the way. See? We only want the elect to hear it and understand it. That's why we speak the way that we speak. But growing up literally means becoming a child. 
to the kingdom, to the spiritual man. See, he becomes a child in the presence of Abaya and he becomes a man in the presence of this world. Y'all see that? So in order for a man to be a man in the world, he has to become a child in the presence of Abaya and let Abaya be his daddy. See? So when we say grow up, we literally mean become a child in the presence of Abba Yah. And then you'll be a man or a woman here in the world. Not swayed by what the world got to say. Who are you going to listen to when you be at home? If you had a daddy in your home and he told you to do some shit, did you listen to him? Or did you listen to somebody else who told you to do something else? And then when you did listen to somebody else, what did your daddy do? <laughs> you see... You who are daddies, when you speak in your in your home to your child or to your family or whatever, you expect it to be heard and expect it to be respected, correct? And when it's not, then you're going to have a little attitude, ain't you? <laughs> All right, so this is simple. This is simple. Y'all have to understand, you got to let it go. You got to let the titty go now. <laughs> pop your lips off. Go ahead. Just pop your lips off the thing. Now it's time to eat some steak, potatoes and shit, okay? Y'all gotta stop caring about what this world thinks about you. You have to stop caring. Abba Yad made you. Abba Yad made you the way he made you for his own purposes. So if he did that, then what does it matter what a nigga think out here in the world? What does it matter what one of these scallywags out here think of you? It doesn't matter. They be trying to judge you and shit. Yeah, this is going to happen to you, man. You're talking crazy, man. That's this. You're that. That's this. And you're that. La -dee 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 -dee. I got on the breastplate of righteousness. <laughs> so none of that shit going to phase me. Because the only one voice that I care about who's speaking about who I am and my character is Abaya's voice. When he tells me this and that, that's when I move and I adhere to his words. You see? And I'm stubborn. See? Because what does it say about Israel? They are a stiff-necked people. You see? They're stubborn as hell. Well, that's good when you got them in the truth. That's why Abba made him that way. But when he's not in the truth, oh, it's stubborn. It's hard to bring his ass back to the truth, you see? That was what Israel's problem was. They rejected the Messiah, their teacher, their guide, their master. They rejected their husband. <laughs> You see? Bringing them back to the father. They rejected him. They said, no, give us a murderer in his stead. Give us Barabbas instead. That's what happened. It's not like I'm making it up. That's what happened. So what's that telling you? That you need to separate from the world and the world's ideals. That's another man's ideals. You see? It's another man's ideals. That's a Roman's ideal. You're going to stick to the Romans ideal or you're going to come into the truth, the new ideas. See? <laughs> the truth of the matter. That it doesn't matter what these people think about you. Either or. See, y'all y'all think when I say that, that means that I'm only saying that it doesn't matter when they think negatively about you. No, it doesn't matter if they think positively about you either. You see, when you're really engaged in this war, then you'll un you understand that a tactic that they'll use against you is flattery. Your enemy will use flattery against you, especially if it's a female and you're a male. And if you're a female, it'd be a male doing it to you. That's what narcissists do. It's called love bombing. Come on now. Y'all know that. You see? But we who know the loop of the narcissistic relationship, the love bombing phase, you see? The idealization phase, they're going to idealize you and make a wonderful idea of what they think of you. You see? And you're going to be believing it. Wow, you think so? They're like, yeah, you're great. Yeah, let that shit go on for mm, about six more months. All that you're great shit is going to turn into <laughs> shit. Not you're great anymore, I'll tell you that. That's the loop. See? A degrade phase, you're going to go to the... The, from the idealized to the degrading phase, and then you're going to go to the discard. And if you know that, then you won't care when they try to flatter you then, will you? See? But y'all are destroyed for lack of knowledge. 
Y'all don't know that's the loop. So when a girl come to you and she's like, oh, I think you're just a great. She, you play basketball. She's just like, oh, my God, you got all the skills. You're just the best. The way that you broke his ankles and did this. You sitting there with your eye, hard eyes like, damn, hell yeah. She, I did do that, didn't I, girl? She, you falling for the shit. Next thing you know, she got you. Now here come the degrading phase. Come on, here it comes. Devalue phase. About to devalue you. You did some shit. She was looking at her phone when you did it. You was like, damn, when you used to thought I was sweet as hell. Remember I broke the nigga ankles? I, you see you see what I just did? She like, yeah, I gotta check my statuses on Instagram and blah 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 blah. Then discard for the next nigga that broke your ankles. <laughs> <laughs> ah, hypergamy at its finest. When you know that, then you know how to jump out the loop, bitch. Uh-uh, you ain't about to put that hula hoop around my waist. And I ain't about to dance for your ass, neither. <laughs> y'all better, y'all better, look. It just is what it is. It's the way we talk. Y'all gonna have to let your nuts swing a little bit around here now, see? You're gonna have to let the, <laughs> you're gonna have to let the hair grow on your balls a little bit now. Stop shaving them shits. Time to be a man now and get a little bit rugged out here in the world, okay? It's not all about hairspray and deodorant and veneers, okay? It's not. <laughs> it's not about Cartier glasses and ball main jeans and Balenciaga shoes. It's not. And as long as y'all are chasing after that, thinking that if I get that, then people will think I'm something. I'll have status and people will think I'm something when I'm wearing that. Then you've missed it in your loss because your master already told you, marvel not if the world hate you, for it hated me before it hated you. The world cannot hate you, for it hates me, for I convict them of their sins. So then why are you walking around here trying to get everybody to like your ass? You're so rebellious, just like he said, see? <laughs> just like he said, you got charismatic preachers that are that are trying that appeal to people by their charisma and they're liked and all men speak well of them uh oh then you ain't speaking the truth the full truth and nothing but the truth that simple you're speaking a feel good doctrine of 3d boy tunic boy flower boy white boy jesus not yahusha you're not telling the words that he said and it's truth and clarity you're changing this shit around i told you you want to see somebody's mouth go <laughs> show them <clears throat> the book of luke when you get a chance you read it yourself go to the book of luke and read what zachariah says remember he loses his ability to speak for a moment in time and then he gets it back now when he gets it back look at what he says guys he doesn't say that, oh man, Yahusha's born now, so the whole wide world is going to be saved. That's not what he says. He says, now Israel shall be saved from the hand of all of them who hate us. Wait a minute. I thought when Yahusha was born, all oh, peace on the world, because Jesus Christ is born. Israel shall be saved from their enemies. He said, it's right there in Luke in the New Testament. For all of you who think, hey, he just loved Israel in the Old Testament. Then he stopped loving them in the New Testament. <laughs> That's how you niggas are. Abiyah's not like you. He, his love it passes yours. Okay? I don't give a damn what kind of car you think you in, you got. When he get on the line with your ass and y'all take off, he's passing you. You know how you make a character in the video game and you got attributes? And you be trying to stack them bitches all high and make sure that nigga speed is all the way up. <laughs> make sure that nigga agility is all the way up. Make sure that nigga power is all the way up. Y'all remember that shit? You used to be trying to get the cheat codes and shit to make that nigga all the way up. Well... It doesn't matter how much you stack the meters on that nigga. When Abaya get in there, he's going to pass you on those abilities. <laughs> he's going to pass you. Why can't you can't accept it? Why you can't just let it go? 
<laughs> Satan. Oh, the whole white world. Let's talk to Satan. Satan, why you won't just let it go? <laughs> why are you still trying to hang on to this dream <laughs> that you're going to set your throne above the most high throne? Why don't you just let it go? It won't work anyway. And that's what you be telling these narcissistic ass children of that nigga on the earth. Just let it go. I'm not opening the door and letting you in anymore. So there's no need in you crying about it. It's not dripping all down. Let me in. Please let me in. No. I told you I don't go down in the basement. And you can't exist in the light. So. <laughs> I mean, it's really to this point with the truth now, guys. It's not difficult. It seemed like it when you're not in the truth. You be yearning and longing and searching and searching. Then you get in it. You're like, wait a minute. <laughs> I knew that all along. I just didn't know how to do it. I knew it was about doing the right thing. I just didn't know how to do the right thing. No matter how hard I tried with my own strength to do the right things, I found I found myself falling victim, becoming a slave to sin at times. I found it happening. But then when truth came, delivered me from my, the scales fell off, delivered me from the blindness, from the deafness, the truth, then it triumphed over every lie. Christ in me. So it's Christ who does the work. That's why he says, take the yoke upon me and, he, and learn of me. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. Because it's easy and light. Can he lie to you? All y'all that say you love Jesus Christ, do he lie? So then was he lying when he said that? Nope. So take it on you then and learn of him. The truth that is. Take the yoke of truth on you. And then pool life and then see how easy it will be. See how easy it is to maneuver through this life when you just exist in truth. And you just wait on the Lord. Isn't that what the Bible says? Wait on Abba Yah. Wait on him. Even if that means you got to wait, 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 wait. Just wait and he will come through for you. And if you know that and believe that, then you will simply just wait. You will simply do that shit. You won't make excuses anymore like you niggas been doing. You got to stop making excuses for not doing what you know to be right. He who knows to do right and doesn't do it, it ain't no cloak for his sin no more. That means you willfully sinning. There ain't nothing you can do with a nigga like that. You got to set aside anything that's setting you aside of the path. Those things that so easily beset you. Man, cast that shit aside from you, man. Because it's vanity. It's vanity. How many things have you have you chased and chased and chased after? And then when you got the, the wrapping off of that shit and saw it for what it was, you didn't even want it anymore. You didn't even want it anymore. <laughs> How many times have you been on a date like that? Or whatever y'all call dating today. I don't know what y'all call this shit. Hooking up Netflix and chill and shit. How many times have you saw a person thought they was the, the shit? And then you got hanging around them. You was like. Motherfucker. Dumb as hell. Not attractive. I don't know what I was thinking. How the hell did I get in this situation? See. Not heeding to the still small voice that was telling you to keep it real with yourself. <laughs> to tell the truth. Stop trying to act like you're interested in people that you're not interested in just for the sake of having somebody like your ass. Why, are you, why is it so important for you guys that some person like you when they're all evil as hell? These people are wicked as hell out here and you want them to like you? You're more concerned with their opinion of you than Abba Yah? Well, then you can't be helped out here, can you? <laughs> you can't be helped. Because you desire something that is vanity. I told you, y'all y'all, y'all want somebody to sing for he's a jolly good fellow to your ass so bad. <laughs> y'all want a nigga throwing y'all up in the air saying, uh, what's that shit they say? Uh, damn, I can't even think of the word right now. 
singing for He's a Jolly Good Fellow, throwing your ass up in the air. Yep, yep, hip, hip, hooray, that shit. Hip, hip, hooray. You want that shit so bad that you're willing to sell yourself out. These niggas out here looking like straight buffoons and coons. Buffoons and coons thinking, hey, I got a check. I got a check, though. That's what you willing to do that? You're willing to sell yourself? These niggas standing up here on Subway with a sandwich and shit. Draymond Green and shit got a sandwich. Some other nigga got a sandwich. Don't eat his sandwich. My sandwich is better than his. My sandwich got more rings than his sandwich got. My sandwich got bacon on it. The thing I was said, don't touch. Don't even, don't eat it. Don't even touch the damn thing. These niggas on here supposed to be celebrity stars. And they got a basketball under his arm. What the fuck? How stupid is that? How stupid is this? To take a giant Hebrew man and make this nigga to a fucking clown on TV for a check. Buck breaking these niggas in front of y'all. And y'all loving this shit. Y'all loving it. Y'all running right behind it. Yeah, when I grow up, I'm going to be in the NBA too. I'm going to be playing in front of three uh fucking what they call that shit. They're fucking uh, CGI fans too. We're gonna be, I'm going to be playing in front of a green screen too. What the fuck is wrong with you guys? It's over. Nobody's there anymore to watch you. There's no one there to like you anymore. Get over your fucking narcissism. Nobody wants to see you dribble a ball between your fucking legs when people are out here fucking dying. When there's babies having their adrenochrome drink, nigga. You're stupid as fuck to think I want to watch basketball. Watch your ass dribbling a basketball on a fucking wood hardwood. When there's people out here fucking getting killed every fucking day. That look like you, you stupid fuck. You don't even care. You niggas out here caring about fucking check. You caring about your fucking livelihood that you think I told you. These dollar bills they've given you. Dead presidents they're putting in your hand. Dead niggas on a piece of paper, nigga. You think it's value. How silly are y'all, you niggas, man? How silly are y'all? Y'all are acting like y'all are fatherless completely. Y'all are acting like y'all are orphan children without any guide out here, Israel. Y'all have a father who's taught you. The whole world has taken your book, your records, and you're using them to have success in life, except you won't do it. Because you're rebellious and stiff-necked, Israel. You're the most rebellious people there is. The most I told the prophets, he said, go and lift up your voice to them. They're not going to listen to you, though, because they're rebellious, stiff-necked, hard-headed people that will not listen to righteousness. They love foolishness. They love foolery. And you niggas do. Y'all don't want to rise up and be austere out here. Change your countenance from that fucking silly ass look on your face. Become austere. Be men and be women out here. It's time to rise up to your place and do what Abba Yah taught you. What he taught you to do from the beginning. He taught you. He didn't teach them. He taught you. And now these niggas is so-called teaching you. Pathetic. Pathetic. The teacher sitting in the fucking desk and the fucking student is up there teaching the teacher. How stupid is this? And y'all are willing to go for this shit. Y'all are clowns then. Y'all are fools. They didn't convince you of a goddamn lie. You got right there in Daniel, the ancient of days, set with hair like the pure wool. Right there in Revelation, I saw one I saw the son of man standing in the seven golden candlesticks, hair like the pure wool. And then you look on the earth, there are people who have hair of pure wool, but they're the lowest people on the earth. <sighs> Y'all gonna, Israel, you're gonna let them convince you of that? When you're the one that fits the description? <laughs> you know how they do a lineup? They said, hair of pure wool, pure wool, skin of bronze. Now they got a Hebrew standing there. They got a so-called white man standing there, a so-called Chinese man standing there, a so-called Arab man standing there, and a so-called Canaanite standing there. Or a so-called fake Jewish, a Canaanite. They have a lineup. They said the man had hair like wool and he had skin of bronze. Which one of that lineup they're going to choose? The Hebrew Israelite, the Negro? Or, or one of the other kind of people. Let's do it again for all y'all who didn't hear me. There was a crime committed. Okay. They said the man who committed the crime had hair like wool and skin the color of bronze. As if it burned in a furnace. So now they have a lineup there and they have a so-called Negro man standing there. They have a so-called white man standing there. They have a so-called Asian man standing there. They have a so-called Arab man standing there. 
They they have a fake ass Jewish man standing there. And then they, they say, well, who did it? And they ask the person to point out the man. Don't you think he's going to point the Negro out? The nigga who got hair like wool and bronze skin, but you niggas are so stupid and childish that you're not willing to accept that when it comes to the word of God, when it says the same thing in there. Right there in the Song of Solomon, it says he has his locks were bushy and black as a raven. <sighs> not stringy. It says bushy. What people got bushy hair? Hair looked like a bush. Stop fucking with us. Okay? Just leave it alone, guys. Get off the titty of the lies. Pop your lot. No, let's get it right. Pop your mouth off of that fucking Similac bottle you niggas been drinking from. Honestly, y'all ain't even been getting no damn breast milk. Y'all niggas been drinking formula. Take the fucking bottle out your mouth now. Stop hiding. You niggas are looking sad behind fake Jesus tunic right now. Hiding behind his sandals. 3D boy sandals. Y'all are looking pathetic as hell. Y'all are looking so sad trying to hang on to a lie because of something that's carnal. You're hanging on to a lie for a carnal ass reason. Y'all arguments are weak as fuck out here. That's why I'm trying to tell my children, my people, don't listen to these fuckers anymore. Don't care about what they think about you because they're all fucking liars. You, their arguments are so weak. You say, you start giving them the, the description of the Bible of Yahusha. They say, well, it doesn't matter what he looks like. What, ma what does it matter what color he was? Well, it mattered as long as you thought he was white. It mattered when you made the fucking idol. But now all of a sudden, when you tell them the truth, it doesn't matter. Well, then why did you take all that time killing all those people, forcing that image on them then, if it didn't matter? You fucking liars. I told you, you're looking pathetic standing up there now, trying to hide behind 3D Boy's tunic. We're going to light his ass up in flames right alongside with you, with this truth. It's plain and simple. Can y'all drink of the cup? Y'all want to be the people of Israel so bad. Can you drink the cup? To be an Israelite. Can you drink the cup? You want to be an Israelite so bad? This is how we live in. This is how Israel is living right now. So do you want to drink of the cup? No, you just want the blessings. That's the way it always is. We just want the good part. We want Jesus Christ. The hell with all the law and all that other stuff you guys were talking about. Keeping the commandments of the most high. And the hell with that. We just know Jesus Christ taught us this. Believe on me. Never even read the Old Testament of the book. So you don't know what Christ came to fulfill, you dumbasses. You all saying you follow after Yahushua. You don't even know what he came to do. You don't even know what he was doing. You don't even know why the Jews were arguing with him. What they were arguing about. You don't understand it. Because you don't know the Old Testament. You don't know when the high priest ripped his garment. When Yahushua said, I am, I am the son of God and you will see me coming on the cloud. And he ripped his garment that that was a death sentence upon himself. Y'all don't know the depth of that stuff, though, because you don't really know Yahushua. That's what we're doing here to do. Tell you the truth. The high priest, when he condemned Yahushua to death, ripped his own garments. It's written in the law that the high priest is not to mar those garments at all. Not to rent those garments at all. And he rent his. The high priest did. Which is, if he if he does that, he is to be put to death. And so do you see the hypocrisy of those leaders? They let that high priest rent those, those high priest garments that are holy garments. Not to be rent. Which is a death sentence on himself. They let him slide for that, but they killed Yahusha and crucified him. Do you see the hypocrisy of these people out here? So fuck them. They don't know shit about the truth. But we who are really in it, really know it. And that's what we're here to do. To bring the truth to you and to cast down everything else. Ain't that what Elijah do on the earth? Ain't that what the spirit of Elijah comes to do? To make the pathway straight for his Lord? To cast down everything else? Ain't that what the spirit of Moses come to do? To lead the people of Israel back home again? And to say, let my people go? Ain't that the mantle of Moses and the mantle of Elijah? All you niggas running around here talking about what you are and what you doing and what you doing. Are you doing this? Are you telling the truth with clarity or are you casting down wickedness without fear? Showing the people that there is no fear in perfect love. And living it. 
Are you doing it? Without any friends, without any backing, without any finances, without any help. Only Abba Yah having your back through this life. Guiding you through each and every move that you make. Only Abba Yah got you. You living that shit. So for all you niggas that think you is something, that think you are something, are you standing on this rock thing? Because if you not, this rock is going to break your ass into pieces. And then we're going to blow your ass into the wind like dust, period. Period. We're crushing everything else that's not standing on this rock of truth. Silawam Yisraelah.